Kathy Angelis here, and it's time for a faith lift. And this particular message is inspired by something you've probably heard before. And I know I've quoted, quoted it a lot. And it comes from Paul. And Paul wrote in one of his letters to one of the early churches, Be ye therefore transformed by the renewing of your mind. And Jesus had said something similar to that when he said to Nicodemus, at least it's rep reported that he said it to Nicodemus, that you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I would translate that from Aramaic into the realm of harmony. To be in harmony with your surroundings, to live in such a harmonious way that everything is harmonious in your life. <laughs> That's my little aside. He said, you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven unless you're born again. And born again was an Aramaic idiom for, guess what? Change your mind. Sometimes we just have to change our mind. And I've worked with so many people. And this, and this, so I'm, this, I'm not complaining about people. I'm saying this is normal for people. It's just what's normal is that we don't really want to change our mind. What we want is for the universe, for God, to somehow change circumstances so that we can keep our, our same limited beliefs <laughs> and feel okay. <laughs> like we want to be able to still feel um, superior to others, but God, uh, please make everybody love me. Or we want to... Uh, continue to believe that we're not worthy of having the kind of job that we want. Well, we, we have that in mind, and yet we will pray that we will get a new job, but we'll just get the same old job. We'll get the same thing. If we're not worthy of having the job we want, we're gonna, we can get a job, but not something that we're going to end up loving and wanting. Does that make sense? Does this make sense? I know I've done that. To really be transformed, to be transformed. Transformation is radical change. Many people don't want radical change. We want comfort and joy. <laughs> oh, radical change. So what kind of radical change do we need? Here's the one that I'm going to suggest for this week. And the radical change is to stop seeing ourselves as either spiritual or human, but that we are amphibious in a way, and that we can live in conscious awareness of allness, and at the same time, truly enjoy being human. Truly enjoy being human. <laughs> I... I I read a story about Ram Dass, who I think was one of the significant influencers of developing spirituality in the United States. And he longed to know God. He had been a Harvard professor. Uh, he had experimented with drugs and then he discovered Hinduism and he had a guru and all he wanted was just more and more and more God. And he said during a lecture, that that's what he was pursuing. And then something spoke to him. And another aside, I've had those experiences. When I'm not listening to what people tell me, I'm not listening to my own uh, inner wisdom. I'm not listening to, um, I'm not really getting what the books have all been saying. It's almost like something has to say, Kathy Ann, listen up. Well, the same thing happened with Ram Dass. And, and it, I, I have to read this to you. It said, Ram, you are a human, right? So why don't you take the curriculum? Ram, you're a human. Why don't you take the curriculum? See, we are spiritual beings, but we've chosen a human experience. I believe that we are not here by accident. I believe that we chose to be born at this time in the place that we are for purposes that we may never understand as long as we are in this human incarnation. But we're here on purpose. 
And so take the curriculum. Learn what we can learn as human beings with limited sight and narrow senses and bombarded by beliefs from other people about superiority and inferiority and and right and wrong and and all, it's just like a forest it's a forest of thoughts and and opinions of others and we have to find our own way and so to give up the idea and I think some people have this, that I'm going to be so spiritual that this won't matter to me. Or some people it's like, well, I'm human, so I'm going to get all of it that I can out of life. It's like, no, we are human. I'm sorry, spirit, for me, it's spiritual and human. And that we get to integrate these two together. And take the curriculum. What spiritual aspect of ourself can we bring to world problems, to our family healing, to building our community, to teaching and, and raising our children and our grandchildren and our neighbor's children? What can we do as spiritual beings in human form to really enjoy and taste life and have fun with it? and make the world a better place for other people. Wow, that's something to live for. That's something to live for. And just because I love this joke, I have to share it with you and I'll end with this. It's all about life and how do we be human and how do we be spiritual and how do we do both? And <laughs> this is by Ashley Brilliant. He said, life is the only game in which the purpose is to figure out the rules. Bye for now. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah. running free you know I 
flies out in the sun You know what I mean, don't you know, yeah We've been all having fun You know what I mean Sleep in peace when the day is done Yeah, that's what I mean And this old world is a new world A brand new world for you It's a whole world. 